My name is Lucy Hagos Ibrahim. I'm running for the Inter international student representative. Um, and why did you decide to run with Involve? Involve. Um, Involve had a, an aim that they were looking for as a group, and I felt like I could connect to that, uh, which they talked about mental health and wellness for students, and that was that was what I was looking for. And so I felt that I could work with more people, the stronger we would be. Mm -hmm. um, and they had the same concepts and ideas and plans as I did. So, yeah. Yes, it's a new position. So um, from what I was I was told, it's, I have the f some flexibility to kind of make it uh, more detailed. As for now, it's just a position to represent international students with the UVSS board and their views and how to connect international students with the UVSS. But since it's a new position, uh, I would really hope to maybe add more details to that position, maybe work on that and see different ways I can have the international student body connect with the UVSS because there is a disconnect there, right? Um, so yeah, so far, that's, that's what it is. Um, yeah, I do want that because there's a lot of issues that we talk about with the UVSS. We bring in uh, politics, we bring in uh, mental health issues, and I feel like the international students never attend these events, and they could have a voice to it. Some of them could be going through a lot of these things, but actually don't come out and reach out uh, to actually come and attend these these panel discussions or things like that. Um, the only events I feel like they're 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 involved in is with the ISA. So I just want to bring their opinions to these serious matters, maybe if it's about divestment, about marijuana laws and things that they're missing out on. Um, it just feels like there's you're here currently in Canada and these things could also affect you. So I would love for international students to come in and take a part of what they can with the, with the university or, or Victoria in general. And that would be good. And I don't know if this already overlaps with something you've said, but what do you view at this point as being the best way to encourage that involvement with international students? Yeah. Oh, yes. So I feel like this position is a great way because now they can talk to someone who is an international student, as sometimes they feel intimidated talking to a person who is a local. Um, maybe they're scared to ask questions like, oh, what is this? You know, because I'm scared to ask those questions too when I first arrived and I don't know everything that Victoria is going through. So the best way is for a person like them who, who went through the emotional part of coming to Canada, maybe the physical changes and environmental changes, someone who has gone through each and every step they've gone through to come and tell me or ask me, what does this mean? And maybe I won't even know it and I would have to go and ask someone else. But to get that connect of someone who knows them or someone who's gone through the things rather than someone who hasn't. So I feel like that could that's just one way of connecting those two. What makes me the best candidate? That's a very good question. And that's the main reason why I started running. When I first came to the University of Victoria, I came uh, a couple of weeks late. So I had missed all orientations, everything. I had missed everything that could actually link me to the university. So now I'm in this really, really big university, different culture from where I come from. And I have to figure it out all by myself. So I was very frustrated. I found myself crying sometimes or wanting to go back home. And it was really hard. So for me, I felt like I was the best person to run for this position because I had to go through it through scratch. I had to go and find someone to give me orientation. I had to go and talk to the International Student Center. I had to do all these things on my own rather than when you first come, you have a welcoming party and you have all these kickoffs and all these events to make friends and reach out to people and people will actually be able to answer your questions. So I thought, who best than a person who missed all of that to come and connect um, all the international students together because I don't want anyone to feel that way. Um, SOC, of course, I, was, I, 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 vote, I definitely would vote for SOC. Because um, we try to do a lot of anti-racist work around campus, but are so limited because we do not have the funding. Um, so I definitely approve of, of the question that they're asking for more money, or actually they don't even get more money, sorry, asking for money. 
um, to do some work around campus to remind people that um, SOC is here and we are a group that are trying to make a safer space for students of color and safer space for everyone in general. Um, also, the other question is about divestment. And I was, I, this divestment is a very interesting topic to me as it's the first time I've heard of it. Um, and I also had to ask the question, what is divestment? As an international student, you wouldn't automatically know what that is. And, you know, it's, it's, it's different to be engaged in such a deep um, issue that has, has, it's more than the UVSS, it's the university as a whole. And so I, as my slate, we're all running where we want to change. You know, we want divestment. We want the university to step out from that fun, um, that connection with uh, all these pipelines and things like that. So yes, I also think that's, that's a reasonable question that they're asking. Um, and also the food bank, right? Yeah, the food bank allocating money. I also think it's just it's just allocating money and they should have the right to do that because the food bank is heavily used. I've been volunteering there and I see how much students need it and want it. And so sometimes when you turn people away because you don't have the money or to buy the supplies or things like that, it's 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 really hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um I would like to change uh, the way we welcome international students and not only have it at the beginning of the year, but have it as check-in points. So check-in is something I've been trying to work on, is like maybe I can work on with the UVSS or with the university as a whole, but check-in is to have a check-in session and see where everyone is. Have they got their medical cards yet? Are they Are they feeling okay mentally? Have they made friends? Have they found the fruits that they like? How is, how is the, is there, are they working with the time zone and how your body changes because of, you know, the different time zones and things like that. So I would like that the university or the UVSS have a thing, a, an event or a day or a two day session of just checking in and making sure that everyone is, is up to date with everything and making sure that they're, um, to remind them that throughout the year to keep making sure that they're, uh, legal documents are up to date because if you make a mistake with that, you are going to be in very big trouble. So just to have that also, um, um, the the aid for like documents and how to keep updating the immigration things, immigration related documents to be up to date.